Welcome back to Mob Drums. We're here to uh, discuss these wonderful drums uh, made, made by my cousin, uh, Jake. Jakey. Um, man, th these drums are just so amazing to play around with. And you probably, if, you're, if you just purchased a monk drum, uh, you probably really need to sit down and enjoy this drum to the best of its ability. It's, it's a great stress reliever for one. Uh, if you're not a percussionist or if you're just a novice or just someone that just likes drums and just purchase the drum just to, just to take it home and, you know, I'm hoping that you're going to use it for something other than a coffee table. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of help you out to kind of get this, uh, get, get the kind of in the mood of actually playing a monk drum. And say you've never had formal lessons or any hand drum percussion experience, it's okay. The, the beauty of these drums is that they're so naturally easy to play. Anybody can sit down and just start jamming out on these things. And if you have any kind of sense of rhythm, and make, whether you do or not, this would be one great way to start to explore that world. Okay, so um, one of the cool things about a monk drum is that it comes with so many different textures and, and tones and sounds. And without getting into any kind of uh, deep uh, discussion about tones and, and, and hand technique, just basically look at the drum and where would you want to hit it most likely right in the center, right? So when you hit that center, you get this really bassy bass drum kind of a sound, okay? So if you have two monk drums or even one, you can kind of work on getting like a bass drum and like a snare sound by going middle and to the edge. You know, if maybe you had two drums, you can kind of go bass, high, so low and high pitches, okay? And that right away gives you a low and a high pitch kind of a combination to maybe just kind of start jamming out to a song with. Uh, you have a song going on, you know, you can just kind of just make it simple. You got your bass drum, your snare drum pattern, you can just kind of follow along. So you're going to have a lot of fun with these drums because they really open up the opportunity to be able to explore different sounds and what's really neat about them, because I have a couple of these in my house, um, they, they work great even on carpet, which was kind of a, kind of a shock to me because uh, I, I play congas a lot and congas, uh, when you put them on carpet, they're open whole bottom and so when you play a conga on a carpet, it actually, the sound kind of uh, gets sucked in and so it's kind of a muted sound. But uh, the, the monk drums are made from a solid, solid bottom and so you're able to actually get a lot of tone even on a, a carpeted surface. So when you're playing with the monk drums, I mean, sky's the limit. There's, there's, there's a lot of room to play even on the side. I mean, the side is probably not designed to be played on, but it can be uh, because it's a, it's a different, uh, thicker side of wood. And so you get kind of a higher pitch here, you know, if you play on the side, you can. You can still kind of mess around with, with getting a, like maybe a bass. Sounds great, you know, it has a lot of fun with that. Of course, these drums also um, have great tonal properties to them. They actually have notes, and um, you know, my cousin's just a, a brilliant mastermind when it comes to creating the tones at, of these drums. And you can hear how each drum has a different pitch. So, if you mind up purchasing some monk drums in, in a group, like a, or a cajon choir, if you will. Uh, <laughs> definitely want to try to hear different pitches and just kind of mess around. You can make little melodies with them, you know, you can kind of might help put the kids to sleep, who knows. So anyways, hope you guys enjoy the monk drums and all the possibilities that you can explore with them. There's so many cool things you can do with a monk drum. I mean, fingernails, fingertips. Get your monk drum today and get to work on having some rhythmical fun.